Hey there, signs of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for the next 48 hours. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. If you want private reading, I do those for donation for a limited time. So check out the box below. And let's get started. So we're going to call in Capricorn's angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to get some knowledge that's, you know, in order to move them forward for their highest good. That's the best way to put it. Capricorn. These are angel number messages. What do we have? Okay, I'm going to grab those two first. Let's see what we have. We have nine. Oh, it's my favorite. Four, four, four. So nine is, it's your compassion that makes you shine. You're devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. When your soul is more satisfied, or your soul is more satisfied when you're being of service, I am compassionate. Reminds me of the Seven of Wands energy too. 444, four, four, trust your journey and trust the way that your life unfolds. And trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. That's a good message, that you are where you need to be. You are where you need to be. Okay, let's get either one or two cards from this uh dreams of gaia dreams of gaia for capricorns please next 48 one or two cards from dreams of gaia please we'll take that one okay all right, so this is dreams of Gaia, their meaning for the two of earth. It says that this card symbolizes the importance of balancing work, home, family, play, while remaining flexible and adaptable to your commitments and responsibilities. It says you are filled with purpose, you have goals and dreams, so nurture them. Be confident, trust in yourself and your abilities, be flexible, adaptable, and open to compromise. Self-belief is the key to maintaining healthy equilibrium. If you can believe that you achieve your goals and meet your responsibilities at the same time, then there's a good chance you can. And there's that saying, um, there's the man that can and the man who can't. Or the man who can't and the man who can. And they're both right because of what they're, you know, the, what they believe in. If they believe in themselves, then they're going to be really good and do good. All right, Capricorn. So this might be some multitasking, very busy. Um, it could be fluctuations of money. It could be talking about balancing like checkbooks and stuff like that. Okay. A humanitarian. That's what nine reminds me of. A humanitarian. Somebody that, do, that is doing something for the greater good of all people. Oh, look at that. And then that's bringing it up again. Commitment about what this card you're committed. So you, um, it says to break down your walls uh, for relationships so you can expand farther. So take down your walls. Maybe ask for some help too. That might be another meaning to that. All right. Let's get some energy cards for Capricorn, energy deck for Capricorn. And um, then we will do the tarot. The tarot. Okay, these cards have about had it. Okay, Capricorn, what are your energy cards wanting to say to you? So, Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. I have a lot of cards here. I have a lot of cards. So, well, let's just go through all of these. We might end up clarifying with the tarot and then doing our tarot like that. that might be a good idea. All right. So, we're starting off with you feeling all tied up. All tied up, feeling like the Eight of Swords, like you can't get out or you have to do this because it's a responsibility or a commitment that you made. and But something feels like it's just really restricting you. And then we have the Temperance type energy with patience. Patience is needed here. 
there's something that will happen in divine timing. There's a purpose to feeling stuck. Although you are not stuck, there is a purpose to that too. Man holding a heart or King of Cups energy. It's about balancing your emotions, balancing the material, but also balancing your emotions too. Develop a strategy. Develop a strategy for what you're doing. Understand that sometimes we can be self-deceptive or this might be representing somebody around you that is lying, cheating, or stealing from you. All right, the journey is what it what you're in this for. And that would be the full, could be Aquarius energy. But this is the journey. This is either metaphorically or for real. This is your journey, your new journey, a new beginning. You either envy what somebody else has or somebody else is going to envy you because you're going to have the ability to just walk away from a situation. Not stay and fix it because it's disastrous, but walk away. Walk away from a commitment, um, any kind of commitment, because this is a general reading. Let's see what Tara wants to, um, let's see what they want to clarify here. Oh. Page of Pentacles, waiting on news of money or, yeah, well, news of finances so that you can do or begin this brand new adventure. Five of Cups in the reverse. What's caught you tied down or feeling stuck is clinging to the past, and I see you getting rid of that feeling once you realize that's what's blocking you. Okay, what else, Tarot? Five of Swords. Five of Swords, Con conflicted, or maybe there's a lot of people arguing or not getting along right now, and it's hard to balance our emotions. Or we might be conflicted in how we feel um, with our emotions. It has to do with our emotions. Let's see what else. Six of Pentacles in reverse. And Knight of Pentacles. You might be envious that somebody around you or you, people might be envious that you are doing something that slowly but steadily is being very successful. It's either, you know, energies are either yours or they're somebody you're dealing with. The Six of Pentacles indicates that right now something's just not fair. Let me see. Get anything else from Tarot? What about this deceit? Whoa. <laughs> no, I don't think all of that was made. <laughs> For us, I do think this was probably yours. All right, so we have Queen of Swords in reverse. This could be either your outlook or the outlook of emotions and love, um, tears too, things like that. The Queen of Swords in reverse looks down upon, like even having emotions. And so in that sense, they end up isolating themselves. That might be part of the self-deception. The sun in the reverse is things don't look like they're getting better or something doesn't look or feel you might be down on energy too something's not illuminated yet there's issues within the family issues within balancing the balancing of the emotions eight of wands is all about it's about communication there's something that uh we are all just not celebrating and it's some kind of abundance either around you or yours. Page of Cups and then the reverses because something, one situation looks just not hopeful here. 
But then we have the star and the Ace of Cups. It could be an Aquarius that um, has a brand new beginning here or with you, or it can be your hopes and dreams and everything you want to, wanted out of life, right? Maybe you're walking away from this situation and stepping into a new opportunity that's like, you know, very emotionally fulfilling for you. A big uh, chapter that's next in your life. Okay, so that's what I got. I know it looks kind of messy, but I am going to do a spread for you with these. Okay, so Capricorn, what's the issue with Capricorn? God. Ace of Pentacles is the issue. It's about money. What's the challenge? It's about money. Or stability. Finding somebody that's very stable. It's about a wish come true. A wish granted that you've been wanting. What's the heart of the matter? Yeah, look, the scales. Maybe go maybe court too. It might be something like that. But something needs to be even and it's about the money. Something needs to be even or fair about this money. Like equal give and take. What's the past position? Or equal give and take of responsibilities or duties. King of Wands in reverse tried to build something in the past that just did not work out. Good intentions, though. Big vision. Could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. What is the present view? Present circumstance. You really need to have patience, even if you feel like you're losing it. Patience is assistance from the angelic realm. And since they don't mess up, they are all about divine timing. Things have to be perfect to work perfectly. And they know this. And that's what they're telling you. Could be talking about Sagittarius, too. Near future energy for Capricorn. Near future energy for Capricorn is King of Pentacles, maybe in the reverse, maybe not, because it was kind of like that. So I'm going to take it in the reverse right now, and then we'll get another card for it, too. Well, it's letting go, letting go of anxieties. This is about some kind of business. Um... Maybe you're going to change businesses or are planning on leaving one business for another. Or you're leaving a situation because someone is not as dependable or reliable as they said. Or someone just isn't as good with money as they said. They might use corrupt means to get their money. How are you feeling? Ooh. You don't feel like working on this. You feel like leaving, not working on this. Hey, okay, external situation. Whoa. Way too many, way too many, but I'll take them. Externally, we are having to wait on something or someone with the hangman. And it's uncomfortable. It's making us, yes, see things from a different point of view. But this is uncomfortable hanging here. There is some more energy coming in, in your outcome. There's more happiness, joy to come. This might be Leo, this might be Virgo, this might be Sagittarius. There's a stopping of fighting, and I think it's because of divine intervention with a new beginning here, something that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling. So just waiting, you're waiting now for your ships to come in. Just uh, or waiting for somebody to come in from a distance. You're also trusting your intuition and embracing the yin energy of receiving. So receiving mode. Queen of Wands. This could be Pisces, by the way. This could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands represents um, a feminine energy that puts their talent or skills out there for all to see and is very successful in doing so. She may be a little reclusive at home, um, but out, you know, where she does her thing, she does it for the good of all. This is a very inspiring person, and it might be somebody who's very intuitive too. The Ten of Wands says that maybe this person is going to help you let down some burdens or release some burdens because something's too hard to handle. Five of Cups in, no, Five of Cups upright and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Something is probably, there's probably some loss or regret here. Feelings that 
you don't have, you know, what you used to have. So you can't live life the same luxurious way that you were in the past. There's something about the financial issue or or something that's just not really stable right quite yet. All right, so, so let's get some more cards to kind of figure out. I mean, we know this is a journey and that this is talking about a new beginning, but let's see. I'm sorry it's so messy, too. Those little ones kind of make it look messy when I use them. I have peace. This is teaching you about peace and patience and getting peace from inside. When everything else is kind of hard and people are arguing and things like that. Here, let me clear this off and we'll do some more Oracle cards for you, Capricorn. Let's see. Clear these off so that we can get some more answers. It's kind of a... I mean, it is just a 48-hour reading, but it just makes me wonder, what is this new beginning about then? That's what I keep wondering. Okay. Okay. So peace, finding peace, finding that inner peace. Okay, let's do um let's do some angel answers now. And let's see what that's what that if that helps us at all. You can either ask a question to this deck or you can just see what comes out and see how it relates, you know, to your situation. So for a Capricorn or for Capricorn number one. Well, it's a new opportunity for sure. Wish granted and a new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Something is very unlikely, unlikely. All right, next question. Look for a sign, look for a sign, maybe with these opportunities or truth like a lightning bolt. This might be your Ace of Swords, look for a sign. Whoa. Okay, we won't do all this, but we will do those too. So what do we have? We have big happy changes and meditation brings answers. Big happy changes I like. I am definitely gonna like. Let's see. Let's do um let's do your guardian angel cards if I can find them. There they are. And then we'll do tea leaves and we'll end your your reading or close out your reading for the, these 48 hours. Okay, Capricorn. What? Whoa, gosh. This energy is like just <laughs> very, very strong energy. Angel of Tranquility. You might be really stressed. That might be why I'm feeling this energy. So you might be really stressed out and um, you may need to find a place of tranquility, a place that you call just yours, where you rest, where you find peace. This is about finding a place where you can go to find peace. All right, tea leaves. Let's get some tea leaves for Capricorn. Kite, a vacation, tranquility. Bow, you are highly thought of. You've gotten that one before. Ah, uh, star. Star, guaranteed success. Older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. Dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. Vine, seek out information that will help you. Pig, beware of greed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're doing two more for nine. Pale, time to get out of a situation. And tower, but this is a good tower. So it's solid foundation, success with effort. And I'm gonna name it the good tower because that's what all this is. It's about rebuilding, rebuilding and divine intervention. All right, so thank you so much, Capricorn. You all have a really lovely day or next few days and sending you love and light as usual. Bye-bye.